What is up? We are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide. I'm the host with the most. Mr. We Are Wrestling himself, the best one, Donnie, here back with a brand new episode of Hot Takes where I give you guys my hot takes on things going on in the pro wrestling world. If you're not a We Are Wrestling Maniac yet already and you're not a part of the thousands of subscribers, we recommend you to hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications, videos be coming out of nowhere like an RKO, and of course you already know, the grind is real. And we're less than 100 subscribers away from reaching 5,000, once we get there, we have a part 2 of the MJF Try Not To Laugh compilation. You guys really enjoyed that video. It's, you know, our most viewed video here on the channel. So once we reach 500, we are going to be having a part two. But with that being said, let's dive into this week's episode of Hot Takes. And normally, here on We Are Wrestling, we cover a lot of WWE news, AEW news, even, you know, TNA Impact and NWA. But a lot of the times, we don't really talk about MLW, which is Major League Wrestling. And some big news came out earlier today that former MLW World Heavyweight Champion Alex Hammerstone has requested his release from MLW. The relationship between both sides have become frayed. Hammerstone is under contract with the promotion until the end of 2025. As of right now, MLW does not intend to grant his release. And this is some pretty big news because if you are a fan of MLW, you know that Alex Hammerstone is one of their top guys in that promotion. He was just a world champion for over 500 days. He was also, you know, one third of the dynasty which, you know, had MJF and Richard Holiday in it. And it seemed like MLW invested a lot of time in building Alex Hammerstone as one of their top main event guys. And not that long ago, he did lose his, you know, world championship to Alex Kane. And according to these reports, since, you know, that... Since losing the championship, Alex Hammerstone feels like him and MLW have, you know, reached an end of the road. And it seems like Alex Hammerstone is ready to move on and, you know, start doing new things in his career. And it seems like this is not the first time that we're hearing these, you know, release requests from MLW. A lot of the times, you know, we do hear it from WWE and AEW when stars, you know, are just not happy with the position that they're in. They will normally, you know, go on social media and they'll ask for their release. And, you know, either they'll get their release granted to them or they will have to just wait until their contract expires. And this also does happen in other sports, basketball, football, even, you know, combat sports like the UFC and boxing. But with Alex Hammerstone, I feel like MLW, they should grant this man his release. I understand you invested a lot of time in turning him into a main event player, but Alex Hammerstone is so talented where he deserves to be on a bigger scale. He deserves to be seen by more people. And MLW is well known for die-hard pro wrestling fans like, you know, myself, but for the casuals, they don't know who Alex Hammerstone is. And apparently, earlier today, there's two members of the Bloodline family who are former MLW Tag Team Champions. I don't really know their names. I'm not going to try to pronounce them. They got their releases granted to them. So now they are officially free agents. And not that long ago, Alex Hammerstone's friend slash rival, a part of the dynasty, Richard Holiday, when he came back, you know, from, you know, leukemia, a few months later, he asked for his release from MLW, and it was granted. And there is a picture on social media going around of, you know, Richard Holiday and Alex Hammerstone looking to do some tag team work together, 
And I think that Alex Hammerstone realizes that, you know, after losing the championship, a lot of that momentum now is gone. And instead of, you know, working his way back to the main event picture in MLW, I think he realizes that it's time to, you know, try something new. And I think now that, you know, Impact is turning into TNA, more eyes are going to be on that product. With the NWA, they just signed, you know, a TV deal for two years with the CW. So more eyes are going to be on that product. AEW, they have, you know, one of his, you know, best friends. MJF, the leader of the dynasty. That's how, you know, Alex Hammerstone, you know, came up in MLW. And WWE, where right now they are showing interest in Richard Holiday. And they have expressed interest in Alex Hammerstone throughout the years. I think that, you know, with MLW, they should just, you know, grant the, grant his release. And this is like my, this is why I wanted to cover this on Hot Takes, because I feel like when a wrestler requests their release... I think if they're a mid-card guy or, you know, somebody that's sitting in catering, I feel like, what's the point of letting them just sit out, you know, throughout their contract? Like, if you're not going to use them, you might as well grant, you know, their release because you're saving yourself money and it's an, you have another spot open for somebody else. And with Alex Hammerstone, he is one of their main event guys, but MLW is not on the scale of a WWE or an AEW or a New Japan or, you know, a AAA or even, you know, TNA or NWA. MLW, I think they're, you know, they need to start building new stars. And a lot of, you know, they're giving a lot of guys and girls in, you know, the Northeast area an opportunity, which I really like. Congratulations to my boy Ichiban on, you know, signing a deal over there. And, you know, giving guys like TJ Crawford, Love Doug, Becca an opportunity. And I think that they should start, you know, going after more independent standouts. MLW is known for it's for the die hard pro wrestling fans and alex hammerstone has accomplished so much in this promotion and i feel like if you know alex hammerstone does get his release granted and he moves on to bigger and better things it's not going to affect mlw because if anything if you know alex hammerstone does sign with wwe or an aew there's going to be some fans that might enjoy his work and then they're going to go on to you know this smartphone here and they're going to look him up, and they're going to see all the work that he's done with MLW. And I've been a huge fan of MJF throughout the years, and still to this day, I go on MLW's YouTube channel, and I watch a lot of his, you know, highlights through his time. And it's only going to give MLW more credibility when, you know, Alex Hammerstone moves on. I just think that, you know... When it comes to releases, if they don't want to be a part of, you know, your company, why are you going to waste the time? And it seems like Alex Hammerstone, he is very, you know, happy with his run in MLW. He tweeted this, My time with MLW was five of the best years of my life and career. Very proud of what I and the company accomplished. I wish them continued success. I have recently asked for my release as it feels what's right for me at this time. Thank you at Court Baller for the opportunities. And with Alex Hammerstone and MLW, I feel like they reached a dead end. And he had an incredible world, you know, heavyweight championship run. And he just put over this new guy, Alex Kane. And I feel like, you know, hopefully MLW, they do request his release because Alex Hammerstone was very loyal to, you know, the promotion. He, you know, even signed an extension, you know, not that long ago. But, you know, through the years, times change, things change. And I think Alex Hammerstone is ready to take the next step in his career. But I also, you know, can understand, like, from MLW standpoint, because they have built him as, you know, one of their top guys. And they have invested a lot of, you know, time and money into him. So maybe they don't want to, you know, get rid of him and move on. But, I don't know, man. I think that 
he's reached, you know, a dead end with them, and I think it's time to, you know, move forward. But let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on, you know, Alex Hammerstone requesting his release. Where would you like where would you like to see him, you know, land next? If you enjoyed this week's episode of Hot Takes, make sure to smash that like button now. If you're not a We Are Wrestling Maniac yet already, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. The link's down in the description below. You can go follow me over on my social medias and other YouTube pages. All that down below. New episodes of the We Are Wrestling Podcast come out every Saturday. You can watch it here on the YouTube channel, or if you're on the go, you can listen to it wherever you get your podcasts. But of course, to all the We Are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide, we are taking over. Peace.